from today, Ghana will be counting down to the 12 month in which another crucial election will be held to decide who governs the country. Will it be former President John Mahama who wants a comeback or will it be President Akufado who already has launched his four more for Nana bid? One thing is for sure, the seat will be fiercely contested. Well, last night, if you like this morning or dawn, pastors took turns to remind us on the need for peace as we go into the election year. Messages on elections dominated the sermons preached in most of the churches, especially in the Kumasi metropolis, uh, during the 31st night services. It ranged from being tolerant, guarding against foul language, and advice against pastors uh, declaring their support for political parties, which is being described as unwise. Prince Apia monitored the churches in the region, that's the Ashanti region, and as far as this report. <laughs> Watch night church services were characterized by prayers accompanied with worship songs and praises before the sermon began. Here is head pastor of Miracle Manor Church, Pastor Uber Joy of Bing. Aside the message of light tidings in the new year, some attention was paid to the upcoming elections. Our next visit was the Calvary Charismatic Center, where Pastor Ransford Obing is the head pastor. For him, it is unwise for church leaders to declare support for any political party, lest it divides the people. In a church, we have different group of people that come to church. There is no church that has one party in it. There are different, different people. And churches are supposed to bring people of different backgrounds, different views together under the Lord Jesus Christ. So it is not a wise decision for any church leader to declare publicly his support for any political party. Your duty is to pray for them. When you go to the ballot box, that is between you and your God. Others advise that the upcoming election campaign should be made up of issues that will address the needs of the people and not insults. The peace of Ghana, everybody is responsible. Everybody needs to play his part. As churches, we need to pray and encourage our people and ask our people to be tolerant. I advise to all the various parties is that as they go about their campaign, they should talk about issues. They should stop insulting one another. That is not the culture of Ghanaians. The words that we will be using against our fellow opponents, we should be very mindful so that we wouldn't cause any mayhem in the process of the elections. At the end of the day, we are Ghanaians. We have only one country and nowhere to go. So we must exercise a lot of restraint. In the Meanwhile, Superintendent Minister for Mount Zion Methodist Church Society, Reverend Frank Abrifa, was particular about the unguarded language of politicians. Jesus is a peaceful being, so our speech should be guarded as we tolerate each other during the election year. As usual, it ended with heated praises to usher in the year 2020. Prince Apia reported. Prince Apia filed that report. Well, that's what's happening uh, in the Ashanti region. Let's move up to, up to the uh, northern part of the country where thousands of people in the Upper West region defied the extremely cold weather condition last night to usher in the new year with church services and open parties. Church sermons in the one municipality largely focus on the need also to ensure peaceful polls in December. Upper West correspondent Rafik Salam has more. People flock to churches and hotels for open parties in the Upper West region to celebrate the person of the year. Ahead of those activities, which for the first time are without fireworks, Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali delivered his New Year message 
in front of three dozen media practitioners in the region. Let us as a region not enter 2020 with any cynicism or sense of limitation. Let us choose to fill the days ahead of us with hope, not despair. When we look ahead, let us see all that we can achieve and let us work individually and collectively in the interest of progress. We can turn that vision into reality. Across town, members of the Revival Assemblies of God, Redemption Church and Church of Pentecost defy the vagaries of the weather and maroon themselves in their various churches, singing, praying and dancing their hearts out. The Revival Assemblies of God Church wa, was filled to the rafters as both the young and old seized the moment to thank the Lord for a successful year with the hope of a better 2020. Head pastor of the Revival Assemblies of God Church wa, Reverend Robert Akorbukure Simon, to the members of the church hinge on how the church will operate in the year 2020 and on the team, my year of divine flames as we fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Reverend Akalbukuri advised Ghanaians, especially the youth, not to allow themselves to be used by politicians to foment trouble during the 2020 polls. We are advising the youth in particular not to allow themselves to be used by any politician to foment troubles that may bring hardship into this nation. The atmosphere at the World's Redemption Ministry was charged. The service, led by Reverend Brian and Mohammed Benjamin, raised their hands, prayed, and later danced in religious music for the new year. He called on Ghanaians to let peace be at the forefront of whatever they do. Peace for our country. If you are a child of God, whatever you do this year, let peace be your goal. Let peace be that which you chase after. And I believe that the Lord will bless our nation. And I believe that the north and the Lord will lift his glory upon us. He himself will give us a leader. He himself will choose for his name that which he has prepared for us. I wish you well and I pray that the country experience and have the joy and the blessings and the peace that Christ has ordained for us as a nation. The Church of Pentecost was the last place visited and the situation was not different from the other churches. The service was characterized with long hours of prayers accompanied by worship songs and praises. District pastor of the Wakabanya Pentecost Church, Reverend Robert Ebo Mensah, called on Ghanaians to include Jesus Christ in whatever they do in their lives for he is the light of the world. For he is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the light of the world. So even as we go out there into the world, into the 2020, when we involve him, we will never go astray. Reporting for Dre News, Rafik Salam. Wow. Well, how was your night? How was your 31st service? And how are you starting the year? How has it been for you? Share your messages with me here in the studio on our WhatsApp number. We've already shared that with you. It's 0540-109009. That's 0540-109009. Let us know how your year is starting. Is it good? As uh, the uh, vulnerable who have been invited to the vice president's home, or are you contemplating on an election year?